Hello SXP fans, what is going on? Welcome to the first video on my new channel, newly opened channel, and in this video I will be installing Mac OS X onto a new computer, so turn it into a Hackintosh and all that other good stuff. I will also be installing Windows 7 on it, and then also Windows 8 on top of it. So I install Windows 7 first and then see if I can install Windows 8, but I'll just see how it goes, but I'm getting the um, Hackintosh bit out of the way because that's mainly the hardest part. Now this video will be in part 1 and part 2, so part 1 of how to make a bootable USB for Mac and I'm not going to be showing you how to like put windows on it because obviously you can go out and buy a disk or you can just torrent it or whatever you want to do and all those good stuff now before I start um, like showing you what to do um, get an 8 gigabyte USB not a 64 or 16 because I'll show you now basically this shows a 5.26 gigabyte USB and what it does is compresses your USB um, using this program and it makes it bootable for a Hackintosh and what it does it compresses it and makes it literally your USB turns into a 5.26 gig so I had a 16 gig thank you that I didn't use a 64 gig one which I use for school but basically it just compressed it to 5.26 gigabytes and now I'm just left with a 5.26 gigabyte USB to use but anyway that's just it okay so now we can start and yeah I just want to say before I actually start uh, one quick thing is that you have to have selected parts for a Hackintosh obviously I shouldn't be saying that because you should know by now that you need selected parts it's not something simple otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video or maybe you would alright so what you want to go onto is www.nearesh.co I think they've just changed their um, URL and go onto downloads and now you want to go onto find dis tro distros there we go now it has six downloadable um downloads but just stick with um this one at the top nearish mavericks for intel and amd because while well, i'm using it it's being trusted and if you go with this then you'll know what you're doing because you're following what i'm doing all right let this load and now what you need to do is obviously you need to unlock it it's not it's not a survey trust me all right i'll show you how to use it basically what you want to do is this is what you do and then you sign in and follow and then it will follow it and now look it's unlocked bang now you go into download for intel and amd and now what you want to download is, let me check, is you want to download the USB version, which is here. Now if you would, sorry for the ads, now if you want to burn it onto a CD, um, you can use this one, but just go with this because it's the full package. So hit download and it should download into this folder. Now what you want to do is also you have to have a uTorrent okay whatever all right now what you want to do is open the torrent file and extract or seed it and then basically once it's finished downloading it should come into a file like this one and just drag it onto your desktop or it might already be onto it now also what you want to do is install this program win32 disk imager i'm not going to tell you how to install it because it's fairly simple open it follow the instructions uh, agree to their terms and all that good stuff all right now what you want to do you're nearly there um what you want to do is go into properties and what you want to do is uncheck this it says read only uncheck it hit apply okay and now this means you can actually um 
extract it from this um, program. So what you want to do is you have to make sure you administrator. This is a laptop for which I'm using to showcase it on, and I'm not an administrator. My brother is. Uh, all right. Basically, what you want to do is you want to select the device you're going to be installing it on. So to check the letter of your device, you go onto it, and it says removable disk E right there, and that's the letter E. So I know that's selected. Now what you want to do is go onto your desktop or wherever it is being saved and click on this so it's like all files um, and then you just search for your um, file or whatever and then basically you open it and then you press write, not read, nothing else, just press write and once it's said that, once it's done that you should, it should take about 10 minutes and once that's done you have a bootable um, Neeresh Hackintosh drive and I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed it and please like it I'll be doing an unboxing of my new computer which will come soon so yes yeah, stay tuned for that and I'll be installing it on the second part showing you how to install and dual boot Windows 7 as well but when the time comes it will come so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video and you found it useful and please subscribe for, for more pc hackintosh builds etc i'm hamza from super extreme video and i'll see you next time